Hi, hello. For this exercise, you need uh, to download and uncompress the folder called logos.zip that you can find in the Canvas site. What you will find in this folder are different logos uh, for our exercise. We have also another folder that you can also download with other uh, logos of uh, belonging to different uh, TV channels. You are free to use them or any of these if you want. If you really want to follow the steps I'm going to explain and to understand better uh, the different uh, movement, different motion graphics I created here, then probably you should work with these two uh, files. This is the PNG and this, this is the PSD. If you open the PSD using the Photoshop, you can see here the different information uh, channels, the, what is the transparency, of course, and uh, also you can see uh, the different layers. This is something you have to do it on your own with any logo you do. Uh, if you work from Illustrator, it's maybe easier to split this information, if not in Photoshop, depending on the color and all this, you can just copy and paste in different layers. So this way, uh, it will be easier for me to uh, animate G, uh, T, or the little TV in the middle. I always try to keep everything together, like, uh, and that is this all. And this is useful because you, you might not be aware of where the elements should be. So having this as a reference is always uh, necessary. Once in After Effects, I'm going to create a new composition and right now, this is going to be my composition, my final composition. So again, try to think about the final format that you want to export to. I'm going to go for uh, HDTV 25 uh, frames per second. And again, about six second duration, we can always change these things later. So I'm going to import now. And here, when importing the logo, it's quite important. I mean, first of all, if we go to the PNG, we are not going to have, in this case, the different uh, layers split. So my, you, you might want to import directly the, the PSD, just uh, the work I, I've done for you. Um, the um, important thing here would be to import as composition. If you import as a layer, uh, as a footage, sorry, it will be one single layer or merge. You want that to be a composition so you can animate the different uh, components. And here as composition, you, you can keep it right now as it is. So you see here, this uh, seems to be a only one object. But in fact, if you click twice, you see it's a whole composition here with different uh, layers. So depending on what you want to animate. So this is the composition one would be the final one. We can, for example, rename that as final. Will be automatically renamed. And then inside the final, we want to work with Go TV. So you can drag it here. And we know that in the final, inside the final, we're going to have this Go TV. And this one, we can uh, create some properties. In this case, I'm going to do uh, larger than uh, it was originally. And then I can apply transformations here to the whole composition without seeing or affecting the components of the original one. Now, if I want to animate this one, I need to in enter inside. And now I see that in the first second, I'm going to try to do something very simple. So for example, the TV uh, just drops, for example. So animate position again, and then uh, it's going to be less than one second. Of course, uh, one second would be a very slow fall. So you want maybe to be uh, about 10, 10 frames or so something like that. If you move this way, you can see these are 10 frames approximately. Okay, alternative you can use uh, this other tool. 
to go one, two, three frames. Okay, then you want to change this to a uh, easy, easy out. Okay, and then uh, this would be nothing because you didn't apply any kind of uh, different position. So if this is the final position, you want to change the first one. So go to the first one and then this one, you can, for example, move this. Okay. And you would think uh, you still see everything and it's because we have this all, which is the reference and we, uh, we should just hide that. Okay. Alternative, you might, uh, alternatively, you might want to work with, uh, with this one. In that case, you can, for example, apply an effect like uh, uh, saturation. So you apply saturation here, you do it black and white. Okay, no, not black and white, I mean grayscale. And then later you can modify here the opacity. Okay, so that way we can have that as a reference and then whenever we want, we can get rid of that. So first step, going to go for that. And then later, what you can do now is try to animate the different layers using uh, these parameters. Like for example, imagine that you want to move a uh, rotation, okay? or a position. One thing you will notice now is that if you uh, try to move a V in this animation, you will see that the rotation uh, always work with this anchor point. And that is why, because we didn't change the anchor point. A good idea before starting any kind of animation with this nested composition, is to modify anchor points so you can do a better rotation of each element. How can we do that? We can just select the layer and modify this value, or maybe easier, we can click twice, in which case we'll see only the layer, and we can allocate the anchor point to the point that we find is the best one to um, uh, coordinate the rotation of the object. So now V should be there. And when you, what you see is as a result, it has moved all the, the layer. All the information of the layer has moved in relation to the rotation. Then that is why it's so useful to keep the uh, old layer as a uh, reference, okay? So we can do that the same with the other layers, okay? Here, again, it depends on where uh, we want the anchor point. If we want to rotate this way, okay? Or if we want to rotate using this as the anchor point, okay? So it depends on what you want to do, of course, even if you want to allocate it here, okay? So in any case, I have that as a reference and the same for TV. You see, oh, I'm going to put it in the center. You see now that as a result, everything is moved. So you're going to need to move the whole, uh, the two positions, the two points. Okay. So select both and I'm going to move both of them. Well, once you have uh, done your animation like this, for example, it's very simple. Okay, uh, well, you see the T doesn't have, doesn't make any sense here. What is the T? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, this keyframe should be here. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. And then 
you see uh, probably that I use different kinds of uh, keyframes depending on the effect I want it. So I have, for example, here a whole frame, uh, here an easy in, and uh, here an easy out. So different uh, effects depending on, on the animation I wanted to create. You at this point can get rid of this. Okay. And then later you see that all changes have been applied to this. You might think at this point, I'm going to hide this. So you can, okay. At this point, you might think uh, this animation is uh, working very slow. You can, for example, modify all the timing of the animation, okay, by uh, just making it to work 75% instead of 100%, so it's 25% faster, or, you know, the double of speed, for example. And uh, that way, uh, everything lasts less, okay? And this, everything uh, happens in this layer, so what you see as well is, okay, the, uh, the TV is, 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 is cropped, here and also uh, other layers that might happen. No, yeah, the G, for example. No, so the only way to fix this would be to edit the composition so you give more space here, and that way uh, it would match the other composition. Okay, so you go composition settings and you make it much longer. Okay. And if you do it as long as the other one, for example, you can do the same dimensions. You now supposedly would be sure that you are matching the same resolution, the same, sorry, dimensions of the, of the thing. Okay. So now it's not a problem. Okay. Now exactly the same. Uh, movement and the same frame and now you can add another animation here like for example welcome to go tv or something like that you can allocate this animation to take place in another uh, frame uh, maybe using the rulers for uh, where it is a uh, safe margin okay something like that and then here to allocate the welcome, you will need only to uh, go create that. Okay, so let's see at the beginning, uh, welcome to. So that would be something like that. Okay. And then we are going to use the same color. Okay. And this one now seems to be maybe something like that. Remember this gray is just uh, to make easier to see uh, the alpha channel. But uh, if we want this to be, for example, white, now we can create a layer and that would be solid and that would be uh, white for example and then we allocated that in the right place okay this seems to be a little um, a little too much bright so I'm going to change the solid setting and I'm going to work with something like more I'm not very sure what is going to work here, honestly. Yeah, why not? Maybe something like that. No, it's difficult. I think it's going to work better with white, but maybe not that bright. Okay, something like that. And uh, of course, you can always apply here the motion blur, 
but for that you would need to uh, activate motion blur in all layers you want that to work with so you activate there and you activate there and then you have activate there and also here okay so that is the way that the motion blur should be present as i say depending on on the speed okay and that is your um, animation 